If you're here, your brain's about to explode because you're not sure about a CS degree versus a coding bootcamp. Well, it's true. You know, I don't have a clue what I want to do the rest of my life. Well, if you want to get a job using either of these options, you've come to the right place because I've helped thousands of people with computer science degrees, people that went through boot camps, and people that are self-taught get these jobs, and I'm going to give you insight that will give you peace as you make this decision as well. Calm down, calm down, come on. You can hear these stories on the Breaking Into Startups podcast, but first things first, I'm going to give you a news flash. People in the workforce without a college degree now have a very unique opportunity. Dozens of companies, including Google, Apple, and IBM, are ditching their degree requirements. So you can do it either way, but there are positive and negatives to both. So I'm going to break it down for you. But before breaking it down for you, you probably heard that most developers are self-taught, and it's true. Here's why. The iPhone App Store was invented in 2008 and it's 2019, which means that app developers haven't been around for a little more than 10 years. That's part of the reason why four year universities have struggled to keep up with the pace of technology because all of these companies didn't exist 10 years ago and only a few colleges and universities were able to keep up with the needs of the workforce. Is it true that we only graduated 75 computer science teachers last year from all of the universities and colleges in yes. the United States? It's crazy. Software engineering needs change in the workforce every single year. So I'll save the fact that most people are training in college for jobs that aren't going to exist in the future for another video. Let's start with yeah. that staggering statistic. Mm -hmm. By 2030, how? What's the percentage of jobs that will be available that don't currently exist? 85% of jobs that will exist have not yet been invented. Wow! But for now, I'm going to break down the main difference between a computer science degree and a coding bootcamp. The main difference between a computer science degree and a coding bootcamp is that a coding bootcamp measures a success on you getting a job. Hey man, you got a job. Huh? If you don't get a job, the coding bootcamp was not successful. Again, the main difference between a computer science degree and a coding bootcamp is that a coding bootcamp measures its success on you getting a job. Oh yeah. I like it like that. On the flip side, computer science degrees optimize to get you a certificate or a degree um, and to get really good at passing tests. But if you don't get a job, the school still gets its money which is one of the main reasons why approximately 45 million Americans collectively owe $1.6 trillion in student loans. No, 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 no. I went to college and benefited greatly from it, so I wanna make it clear that this isn't a college bashing session. I just want to make it very clear that the main difference between a computer science degree and a coding bootcamp is that a coding bootcamp measures its success on an individual getting a job. Now let's get deeper. What is code? Code is instructions that you give to a computer. It's the closest thing we have to a superpower. As an artist myself, I like to think about the computer like an instrument. And the instructions that you give to a computer, like notes, what comes out of the computer, like music, it's up to you as the software developer or the artist to determine whether that is an app or a website or hip hop or jazz or classical music, you have the power to create. Here we go. One, two, three, go. So what does that have to do with the computer science degree versus a coding bootcamp? Engineers are artists, duh. And most successful artists that you hear on the radio are not classically trained. They just know how to make songs that people like. Once an artist gets a hit and starts making a lot of money, they see the value of music theory and investing in themselves, and then they start really getting paid to learn and get better and better at their craft. Great coders are today's rock stars. That's it. Still didn't catch it? Coding boot camps teach you how to do things companies want. And computer science degrees really focus on theory and academics, 
which is why over 70% of people in coding boot camps have bachelor's degrees. Now I'm going to break down those points very quickly. Coding boot camps are focused, which means that they focus on a specific track. So you are 100% committed to a goal and the needs of companies. They have an evolving curriculum. So what's very good about a coding bootcamp is that they're always communicating with companies and the needs of the workforce so that you can be confident that what you're learning is relevant in the workforce and you're not wasting your time working on stale material. They're convenient. Coding bootcamps can be done full-time, part-time, self-paced, online, or in person. So literally, it doesn't matter what your schedule is, you can do a coding bootcamp no matter what your time commitment is. But just remember that the more time you put in, the quicker you get to the job. It's what you do that defines you. Also, if you have no money, you can also do a boot camp. Some people don't have $20,000 in their pocket to pay for school. You might already have student loans. Coding boot camps also lack financial barriers. So you might have ten dollars or $20,000 in your pocket to pay tuition up front. You might already have student loans or you might want to take out student loans which are totally available to you but the majority of people don't have that money in their pocket they do something called an income share agreement to do a coding boot camp and an income share agreement is essentially a promise that says i will get you a job through my coding boot camp above a certain salary and if you don't get a job you don't have to pay anything but if you do get a job you agree to pay your tuition out of your new salary and if you want to learn more about that check out our video on how income sharing agreements work. So now that you know that you can save money while you're going through a coding bootcamp, keep in mind that coding bootcamps also have a really strong job search curriculum because they aren't successful unless they get you a job. It's not about getting a degree or certificate which some coding bootcamps provide. Some coding bootcamps even do give you college credit as well. But again, a coding bootcamp is not successful unless they get you a job and they have really strong coaching and resources to get you there. So now let's talk about the cons. So again, like sacrifice. To get ahead, man, you gotta make sacrifices. If you're trying to do a coding bootcamp, especially full time, it's gonna require commitment, like all in commitment. You're gonna have to say a, a no to a lot of things. No to parties, no to movies, no to dates even sometimes. And you gotta talk to your loved ones and let them know, I'm about to go all in on this thing because if I invest this time, it's gonna create more time in the future it's gonna change all of our lives. So rock with me. Lock in on your dream, lock in, all right? That means turn off the Blackberry for a minute, turn off the Twitter, get off the phone, stop gossiping, get off the corner, put the blunt down, lock in. The other thing is you don't get the college degree signal from a coding boot camp. The good news is 80% of companies have said that they've hired a boot camp grad and 99% of them said that they would do it again. So that's totally cool that you don't have a college degree. However, college degrees are still the strongest signal in the job market to show that you have an ability. So just be aware that the biggest struggle that you're gonna have as a computers, a coding bootcamp graduate is getting the shot to prove that you have the skills. And if you wanna learn more about how to get the shot, check out our video about how to get a job with no experience. So now we're gonna talk about theory. Like I said before, coding boot camps make sure that you are doing things that companies want. And because of that, the coding boot camp graduates don't always get exposed to a lot of the theory that is important to understand, but they focus on you getting into a job as quickly as possible so you're getting paid to learn that stuff on the job. So the last thing that we're gonna talk about related to coding boot camps is imposter syndrome. Getting into a coding boot camp is like entering a new world. And whenever you're in a new world, it feels like you don't belong, like you're unfamiliar. Someone explain to me as to why I'm here. And sometimes like you trick people like you, you got there. And so that's something that's called imposter syndrome. And it's something that's totally normal that you're gonna have to deal with, that you may not be as familiar with in other environments. Understand that if you do a coding bootcamp, you're gonna have to deal with overcoming imposter syndrome. What is preventing you from being a grandmaster? I do not know about being a grandmaster. Sometimes the place you are used to is not the place you belong. You belong where you believe you belong. Where is that for you, Fiona? 
So very simply, boot camps are the fastest way to get a high paying job as a software engineer in less than a year. Once you get a job, you'll be getting paid to learn the theory that you would have learned if you got a computer science degree. So now let's talk about computer science degrees and the pros and cons of computer science degrees. And I think it's absolutely um, uh, relevant for public education to embrace computer science. I can't think of any other science that would better prepare you for life. Pros, strong signal, more time, extracurriculars, theory, and a deeper alumni network. The cons are costs, outdated job search advice, stale curriculum, length, and limited flexibility. And here's my quick breakdown of every single one of those points. Like I said before, college degrees are still the strongest signal in the job market to demonstrate that you have the skills to do something, but don't sleep on the fact that a portfolio or a GitHub profile is way more powerful than a resume, whether you have a college degree or not. With a college degree, you also have more time. It's usually two to four years, when coding boot camps are usually three to six months for a full-time program or six to 12 months for a part-time self-paced program. So that extended period of time gives you a lot of time to really absorb the knowledge, but a lot of people don't got two to four years to change their life. They're trying to change their life right now, ASAP. So keep that in mind. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Lift up your head and keep moving. Keep moving. Don't let the paranoia haunt you. Oh. Computer science degrees also come with extracurriculars. Extracurriculars are really important, like balance is good, right? Sometimes like too much focus and too much going in and going way too hard causes burnout. Extracurriculars are, are thinking outside of the box are super valuable. And in both programs, you're gonna develop great friends, but colleges really have a good benefit with these extracurriculars. So don't sleep on that. Computer science degrees also are gonna give you the theory that you might miss from a coding bootcamp. They will teach you a lot of things about the academic aspects of things as well. So you'll get some theory in addition to some practical knowledge as well. Let me just ask you a question. What was your last job? Senior theoretical particle physicist at Caltech focusing on M theory, or in layman's terms, string theory. <laughs> I see. Just give me a second. And finally, another pro about college is that they have a much deeper alumni network. So a lot of the people that are working in leadership at top tech companies have computer science backgrounds. Um, they did go to some of the top schools. And so that does help whenever you're reaching out to people. Keep that in mind. So now let's talk about one of the biggest cons of all time, which is costs and student loans. Fun fact. There's some colleges for one year of undergraduate school, it's $80,000. Like what? So if you all have $320,000 to pay for a four year degree, it's totally fine. Um, and there's definitely colleges that are cheaper, but you want to compare that cost with an out of pocket tuition for a coding bouquet ranging between 10 to 30, 40,000 at most, or an income share agreement option where you don't have to pay. So keep in mind that. Cost is probably the biggest barrier for most people. And again, student loans are collectively $1.6 trillion outstanding today. 44 million borrowers out there with student loan debt in the U.S. now totaling more than $1.5 trillion with a T dollars. That's more than what Americans owe in credit cards, auto financing, or home equity loans. Related to that, and the reason why I say that it's a con is because a lot of people that are paying that money are expecting that they're going to get a job when they get done with college. That's not how it works. But because a lot of colleges have outdated job search advice, a lot of times because a college doesn't measure the success on you getting a job, when you sign up for that computer science degree and you graduate with a great certificate, but you don't get a job, it doesn't really matter because the school still got their money. You want to make sure that if you're considering a computer science degree, that they have really strong job search advice that measures itself on you getting a job. And the good news is that some colleges are actually launching income share agreements as well. So if you are considering college or computer science degree, explore whether they have an income share agreement option where they hold themselves accountable to their 
curriculum and your outcome of you getting a job. I'm watching you. The other issue with some computer science degree programs is that they have a stale curriculum. You know, the thing that's most constant in life is change, right? Whether it's in, in education or in the workforce or in this life period. If you're not adapting, if you're not changing in, with the times, you're going to get swept away. Those people that are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones that actually do. A lot of colleges have not been able to keep up with the evolving changes with technology. If you're going to a school, you want to make sure that a computer science degree program has an evolving curriculum that is updated with the most relevant needs in the workforce. So now we're going to talk about length. Like two to four years is way too long for a lot of people. Again, like if you are looking for a job search right now, if you're watching this video and you have a need to change your life today, you probably don't want to wait two to four years. You want to get this change ASAP. Again, if you're considering a computer science degree, two to four years can be helpful. But by the time you're done, the world has probably changed when you get out of it. And make sure that you're aligned with something that's evolving with that change. So now let's talk about limited flexibility. There usually is no part-time or self-paced option with the college. You usually are going all the way in, which is probably the way to go whenever you want to change your life and do something. You usually want to go all in, but we can't always do that. Some people need part-time and self-paced options. So if you're considering a computer science degree, you're going to have to go all the way in and your options are going to be relatively limited from a time perspective. So the moral of the story is you can get a job with a computer science degree or a coding bootcamp, but coding bootcamps are the fastest way to get a high paying job as a software engineer in less than 12 months. Bootcamps measure their success on you getting a job. College degrees don't. If you like this explanation, please comment below and let me know what you liked or what I missed. Subscribe, tell your friends, and let's break in. God gave me the gift of spitting, grabbed the mic, the slave master didn't want us to learn how to read and write. For sure. Why we talking about knocking the head off? Huh. We're losing our people to cancer and diabetes, foot's cut off. Foot's cut off. Stressing my genetics and my family. family. Got my ancestors' blood hereditary. hereditary. Grandma was a Capricorn, born in January. Grandpa was a Pisces, he was born in February. Weary.